Well, today, folks, we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2 because something weird is going on with the trailers when it comes to the current Switch, whether it's the OLED or the light or the original. And it's created some speculation online, including from me, over what this might mean for when they're going to reveal the Nintendo Switch 2. And I also want to address a video made by good friend of the channel, Andres Restart, where he talked about just yesterday how he thinks the plans were always for Nintendo Switch 2 to come out in March of 2025. And he does present a little bit of evidence, but unfortunately, that little bit of evidence is ignoring one key thing, one big thing that really determines if this is something that Nintendo planned all along. And we're gonna dive into that. First, I wanna remind all you guys, hey, we're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers this year, so I'd appreciate if you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Go down below, let me know uh, what you're thinking and all that, and hopefully we'll catch you on the stream tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time. We're having a little celebration, if you can't tell by the background. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So. Uh, the Switch OLED trailer was taken down a couple days ago uh, on both YouTube and Twitter. Now, look, the Switch OLED trailer being taken down doesn't necessarily have to mean anything. It could just be related to music licensing. After all, the trailer was uploaded on July 6th, 2021, which is tomorrow. So if the licensing's expired, then you would obviously take it down because, you know, you don't have permission to use that music anymore. Now... Here's something interesting, though. This isn't the first time the OLED trailer's gone down. See, this was a thought as well. Last time they took this OLED trailer down, which was sometime between July 2nd and 5th of 2022. Most figured it was just because of the music. But then on July 6th, they revealed the Splatoon 3 OLED edition. Now, that could just be a coincidence, but... This makes it feel like it wasn't one. You see, the Switch OLED trailer reappeared online on August 27th of 2022. Now, why does this matter? Well, that was actually the day after the Splatoon 3 OLED edition was released. It's pretty hard to ignore the timing of all of this and how it lines up perfectly with the promotion of said system. Now, there's some other things that happen with other Switch trailers. Around July 9th, 2021, Nintendo removed the Switch Lite trailer on Twitter and YouTube, and it's never been put back up. Switch Lite's trailer first appeared on July 10th, 2019. Around October 15th, 2023, Nintendo privated the original Switch reveal trailer that was up on October 10th, 2016. They did not delete their tweets or other social posts off of YouTube with said trailer, just the YouTube video. It was never officially put back up. Now, what can we take away from this? Well, the first, the last time Nintendo of America took down the OLED trailer, it appears to be because they wanted to promote another product. Also, the only other time that tweet was also deleted, they took down a system's trailer for goods. We're talking about where they advertise it on Twitter. What is true at the moment is all the original announcement trailers for the three Switch systems are no longer available on YouTube officially from Nintendo America and most Nintendo channels. Now, obviously, all of this could just be licensing, and that's the end of the story. And given the timings of how things happen, they also be around the original release time of the trailers in its given year, it logically makes the most sense that this is just a music licensing issue. But then there was that Splatoon 3 OLED situation where everything conveniently seemed timed around that. Now, for my conclusion, it's probably not Switch 2 related, but it is convenient from a marketing standpoint that all launch trailers for the current Nintendo Switch and its various versions are down during a period in which Nintendo said they would be essentially revealing the Nintendo Switch 2. I find this all a little too convenient that all of these trailers are down. Meanwhile, Nintendo said they're announcing something new. I just find this to be interesting. Obviously, all the special edition trailers aren't down, which is kind of curious because all the special edition trailers, whether it was for the light or the OLED or the original, they also use licensed music, and yet the licensing seems to never expire on those as those trailers never seem to go away. So is it really a music licensing issue, or are they really trying to clear out the algorithm over time so when they do finally drop the trailer for whatever this new system is, if it uses Nintendo Switch in the title, 
that they want the algorithm to massively push their brand new thing. It might have happened anyways, but Nintendo of America is pretty savvy, and this could have been the plan all along, and they're just doing a long-form plan where the OLED trailer being the last one, they feel like they needed to take down before that happens. Again, all speculation. We don't obviously know anything about when Nintendo is actually going to reveal the system, but it still, to me, is worth at least speculating about, and I'm very curious what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Now, I said I wanted to talk about my friend's video, and to do that, I think it's only fair that I mention some of the points he brought up in his video, although you should go watch it. And some of his key points he brought up for why March of 2025 might have always been the planned day for Nintendo Switch 2 to come out first began with the Nintendo Switch launch, which obviously launched in March of 2017 and originally had reports for holiday of 2016. In addition, there are some people that have put out there that seem to work at bigger companies or know people that work at bigger companies such as Brazil that did say some of his sources have heard March of 2025 for a long time, long before they were saying, oh, this might get revealed in March of 2024. So there is some evidence out there that maybe that March date have been targeted for quite some time and maybe Maybe even be the original release date. Now, he notes that, you know, all these reports conveniently line up with the way Switch happened, but here's the thing about Switch, and sorry, Andres, you just forgot this one key point. We know for a fact the Nintendo Switch had an internal delay. The reason we know, the Giga Leak of 2020. Oh, boy. Uh, Nintendo doesn't want people talking about this stuff, so we're going to be a little careful in how we go about this. There's actually a whole graphic image for this. And if I put the image up, I did it one other time before. Nintendo wasn't happy and uh, took away the ads on my video, which I guess isn't the end of the world. But, hey, this is what I do for a living now. So, Nintendo, please don't touch this video. But there was an internal document that showed Nintendo actually did plan to launch the Nintendo Switch holiday 2016 obviously we know it came out march of 2017 which means yes there was an internal delay and if you look at those reports that all originally said holiday 2016 and then quickly corrected themselves to march of 2017 literally lines up with exactly what happened with the nintendo switch 2 reports all of it lining up to be holiday 2024 with a march reveal and then quickly fairly quickly everything's no 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 the earliest is coming out is you know quarter one of 2025 suggesting another internal delay and i think that's actually exactly what happened i do firmly believe that all the reports believe that all the insiders believe that is probably what happened and maybe the decision was made late last year and not every single developer was privy to it we all know that nintendo doesn't tend to send out blanket emails to everyone like even when they do the polls with fans there was a poll some of you guys got six months ago i just got in my email today so nintendo doesn't always get a hold of everyone at the exact same time so it's possible like their biggest of big partners have known for a little bit over a year that it's going to be March and some of their smaller partners uh, maybe didn't know uh, until February of this year. That is entirely possible. It does happen. Could Nintendo communicate better? Probably, but you know, they're trying to keep uh, some mystery around this thing and keep things under wraps, even though everyone's fairly certain it's an iterative platform, which falls in line with Nintendo's history. But Hey, we'll have to wait and see what happens, of course, because all we know is it's the successor to the Nintendo Switch. That's what Nintendo's calling it, the Nintendo Switch successor. And we're just going to have to sit back and see what happens. I'm going to leave things at that. I had some other Switch 2 stuff I wanted to talk about, but you know what? I have some celebrations I need to get to today with my family. And then, obviously, i got to celebrate with you guys tonight. So, hope to catch you guys all tonight at my live stream at 7 p.m. We'll put a link down in the pinned comment below if you guys want to go Check out that stream for at least a little bit tonight. If you don't want to stay for the whole thing, I get it. It's a pretty long stream, four or five hours. So uh, I understand if it's not for everyone, but we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk Nintendo. We're going to celebrate. We'll maybe live react to other people's content or other things on the internet just for fun. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video.